That's right guys, Genesis produces PC cases as well and to yours and my surprise they're actually quite good and I was positively surprised specifically with this one that I have right here. So this is uh, I read 513A RGB with three fans that you get and you can control them with speeds and everything through BIOS. So quite outstanding. Uh, now what am I surprised about the case, the quality, the design? Uh, the thickness of the steel, uh, the panels on front, uh, the layout, everything is just what I didn't expect. And today we're going to go through the whole case, going with the temperatures, uh, with the processor and the GPU, the dimensions and everything else. So right after this, let's check it out. As stated at the beginning, today we're going to talk about the iRID 513, a PC case from Genesis, which comes with already three 120mm fans pre-installed that can control the lights through the button right here on top. Now, I said at the beginning of the video that I was extremely satisfied with the case and there's no lie about that, I really am, because the whole design of the case is just outstanding now when you take into consideration the price of the chassis and what you get in terms of the quality the design and everything i said design like too many times but i really like the front panel it's really nice the brushed aluminium here on front really does give a case some special look and you have a nice subtle genesis logo right here which lights up as well but only in white color so let's start with specifications. On the front, you can place up to two 120 or two 140 millimeter fans. And the same thing goes on top uh, when at the back, you can place one 120 millimeter fan. When we're talking about radiator support on front, you can place 240 up to 240 or 280. And on top, you can place up to 240 radiator, which is quite outstanding. I have to say in such a small case, because this is micro ATX case. So you can place an ATX motherboard. You can either go with ITX or micro ATX. Uh, you have a nice power supply shroud. It has Genesis logo and iRead 513. Honestly, I don't think this is quite necessary because most of the cases don't put the names and logos and stuff like that. I think this is just okay, but I think if, I mean, it's quite all right. I think I'll pass that just because the rest is perfect. When we're talking about uh, dust filters and dust in general, you have a magnetic dust filter on top. You have a dust filter at the bottom for your power supply and you have a dust filter on the front, even though you have this some sort of a meshed front right here that uh, gets the gives the case a nice airflow. Now, building inside this case is quite straightforward. There's no fuss about it. You have a nice cutout here on front for your radiator support. Uh, the GPU length is up to 360 millimeters without the front fans. So you lose up to five centimeters uh, if you go with front fans, which are 25 millimeters and radiator, which is also somewhere around uh, 25 millimeters. So you're back to 31. I would say 30 uh, centimeters just to have that wiggle space when you're placing a GPU inside. Uh, now on the top part, you have uh, two holes. Uh, one is for your EPS connection. The other one is for your, I don't know, PWM, addressable RGB and stuff like that. And you have loads of space nicely to connect everything. I would suggest as always connect the cables before you place the fans or radiators on top just to have an easy access and you don't have to worry about, you know, pushing your fingers in a tight spot and needing to access the connections just to get those connections connected. Now the bottom power supply shroud uh, near the motherboard has uh, two holes for the bottom connection. So HD audio, USB 2.0, additional fans or I don't know, maybe even addressable RGB, RGB headers. And you have additional hole right in the middle where the GPU cable, PCI Express cable goes so you can connect it quite nicely. And actually, if you go with the extenders, it can look quite cool. So let me just show you how it looks from here. This is it, guys. 
So I placed uh, AMD Ryzen uh, 550-600G and you have the MSI GeForce RTX 3070 Supreme X. Yeah, no, I'm already using it too much, but you know the position and the situation with the graphic card. So yeah, I'm stuck with that one. Uh, at the back, we have loads of space uh, for cable management, which is quite outstanding and you can do whatever you wish. You have two thumb screws as well as for the tempered glass on the front and you can manage literally everything at the back which is quite outstanding so you just have to pull the back side and you get access now at the back on the well if you're looking at from the front side on the far right side near the radiator and fans on front you have a possibility to place two 2.5 inch ssds which is quite okay and you get rubber grommets for your screws already inside the case well in the accessory bag so you can uh, mount them over there that's the only position to place 2.5 inch hard drives or ssds but you still have a hard drive cage at the bottom which can also be mounted for 3.5 inch hard drive or additional at the top uh, 2.5 inch ssd now the bottom part the power supply uh, you have uh, space for 190 millimeter of length for your power supply and usually in this kind of cases I had to remove the hard drive cage to place for instance the Seasonic Prime since it's the cables and everything this in this case I didn't have to do literally anything the cage is still inside with the cables and with the power supply standing as it is as usual now let me just turn it on just for you guys to see uh, so the initial blow of the fans is just quite standard uh, you connect the controller because you have a controller at the back which has uh, six addressable rgb headers and six three pin dc connectors for your fans now even though they're three pin you can connect the header that's coming out of the controller to your motherboard access it in bios and adjust the actual speed of the fans as you can see the case is dead silent that's outstanding now here is noctua nhu 12a chromax black and cooling down md ryzen 550 600g which gives temperatures around 61 to 63 celsius degrees in aida 64 extreme edition so that's full load and it's really outstanding with the temperature the rtx 3070 goes up to 68 celsius degrees and stays there maybe touches 69 eventually but that's it and that's about half an hour of benchmarking in full load so if your game on this case on this build on these particular components you won't reach those temperatures because either the gpu or the cpu won't go into that full load and go into such extremes with the temperatures the front is outstanding the top is quite easy because easy to mount everything because it has nice access and nice distance from the motherboard i would say like four centimeters or even five uh, which is quite cool uh, the top part you have power on button you have two indication lights you also have the led button which helps you change the colors if you desire to do them manually you have usb 3.0 two usb 2.0 and two 3.5 millimeter jacks which is one for your headset and one is for your microphone i think this case has literally everything I managed to squeeze in a quite large graphic card with front fans. The design is just perfect uh, budget oriented case and you get three addressable RGB fans. I mean, you can skip either the controller and connect them with some splitter or you could just remove the connection on the front with the LED and just directly connect it to your motherboard, which is quite cool because you get extended for addressable RGB since motherboards usually have either one or two maximum and that's it. Genesis iRID 513 is a remarkable case and I'm not saying this lightly because usually I don't say this kind of things for a case that's coming from a brand that's usually uh, making peripherals. So guys, I think we could clearly give uh, this case a best buy badge in the category and definitely a budget case for sure which gives a uh, quite outstanding quality and design and everything and i didn't find 
literally no issues with this case. So I'm really satisfied. I have to admit, I'm really satisfied with Genesis iRead 513. So since I said so much praise words for this case, I'm placing the links below so you can check out the price and where to buy it. And finally, if you liked everything what you've seen, don't forget to subscribe. If you like the video and if it deserves, click the like button and hit the notification bell for future content so you don't miss anything else. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.